Here on the right-hand side of the map, ESV Sandshore and Miss, we have our purple Zerg player from the team Coronte Esports. It is Vortex. And his opponent over here on the left-hand side, our Teal Terran player from Check 6, it is Vare. That's right, Vare, who I'll never forget because he was part of one of the longest CVPs I have ever casted in my entire life, oh, way yeah? back in 2010, yeah. I've told this story before with him and Haypro on the original Shakuras Plateau. They mined out every single mineral. It was crazy. There was just like weird stuff happening in that game, like ravens being neuroparasited in order to drop auto turrets to fight the auto turrets that the raven had previously dropped out. Oh god. It was it was that kind of that kind of game, yeah, right. where you just kinda like sit back and you're like, Alright. We're, we're just gonna we're just, gonna be spectators. It's just kinda longer. happening, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Pretty so. much. Well, we'll see uh, what both our players have in store. Kind of an interesting map choice out of Ver. Um, of course, this is a smaller map, smaller two-player map, and Vortex won't have as much opportunity to kind of just spam the map with hatcheries and, you know, uh, play that nice long macro style. We'll certainly have to try and get something done. Ver, on the other hand, could put on some pressure pretty quickly with, you know, some sort of a marine tank push if he wants to. Also, pretty good map for harass and dropping and banshees and the like. Yeah, I think that's really part of the plan here from Ver is that you've got a map that you can really do a wide variety of styles on, so Vortex is going to need to really, really be on top of his game when it comes to scouting and things like that. You know, despite the win last time, I really feel like his scouting could have been better on, uh, on Entombed Valley. So this is going to be a situation where he really does need to be a little bit more diligent about that because uh, Ver could really come at him with a, a number of different things. All right. Well, <clears throat> spawning pool coming up now for Vortex. Nothing out of the ordinary quite yet. Uh, Ver, of course, going for a 1RX Gasless Fast Expand, and we'll see how he wants to follow this up, whether it's going to be some sort of a double gas and then move into back into Reactor at Hellions, go right up to Cloak Banshees or something like that, mm -hmm. or if it's going to be a totally different look altogether. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's a pretty normal opening from both players so far. I mean, we're kind of just kind of waiting to see what will happen. So let's talk about some of the options that each player has. Um, Ver could go for that Gasless Fast Expand, and that's definitely what he's going to do. But after that, we've seen a lot of players continue to go into Reactor Hellions, and the gas that he just took would uh, kind of suggest that possibility. On the uh, Zerg side of things, and two gas, yes, he definitely wants to get the factory quickly. On, uh, on the Zerg side of things, we've had the hatchery first. No gases quite yet, so it's probably going to be that four queen build. Although, is he sending out a drone to that third hatch right now? No. Uh, no. Okay, I, I saw a little blip on the name map, but I think that's just an overlord. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That is okay, never overlord mind, yeah. floating overhead. So, uh, indeed, we do have two more queens started now. So, it's uh, uh, we'll see how many he decides to go up to. If it's going to yeah. be four right away, as you suggested, which most likely it's going to be, given the amount of resources he's starting to build. Yeah, if you're not going to get gas and you're not going to get a third base really, really quickly, you're generally going to get that third and fourth queen. And I, I actually think this is going to become the standard for ZVT for a while. Mm -hmm. um, while it is nice, and I suppose you've got two different schools of thought when it comes to ZVT. You've got one that says, I want to be a little bit more defensive. I just want to be able to handle the Hellions and things like that really easily, and I can do that with four queens because of the five range. Yeah. And then you've got the other school of thought as well as we see a little bit of harassment here. Actually, wow, some very successful harassment pausing that command center right as it ab it's about to finish. That's Looks right. like it will finish here as soon as the Zerg are cleaned up. Oh, man, but a lot of SCVs are going to get taken out here. Yeah, this is wow. actually pretty bad. This is everything is going to die no here kidding. for Vare. Wow. Man, okay. Vare. And he's actually in danger of having to cancel this command center altogether. That would be devastating well, to him at the beginning of the game. You know, this is just insane. I mean, this is why, I don't know. I mean, let's, let's, let's be honest here. I mean, it's kind of asking for trouble to build your command center on the low ground. It really is, especially if you're going to go for reactor and hellions really quickly. So I, I oh, think a bit of a mistake. It oh, was 100 out of 100. It. Yeah, that's, oh, that oh. just feels terrible for Ver, I'm sure. But, I mean, he took the risk building Whoa. it on the low ground, and, I mean, that's what happens sometimes, Ver. 21 supply to 46 yeah. right now. First couple of Hellions just trying to come out, but this has been... He's oh, so man. far behind now. He's so far behind. It's going to be very, very difficult for him to come back. He's building that second command center again, but 
it's not going to be up for quite a while. Two gases on the way now for uh, Vortex, and he could decide to get aggressive with Roachling, uh, possibly add Banelings on there, or he could decide to just use his advantage now and just tech up faster or expand no. faster. And he and Ver supply block. Supply he, block. He's used to having that extra yeah. level supply from the command center sitting there. So yep, that'll mess up your build if you lose a command center unexpectedly like that. A lot of times you'll overlook getting that extra supply depot that you usually don't need. That's exactly right. Um, just kind of finishing the thought I was talking oh, about yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. earlier before all the craziness ensued. Um, you've got a situation where the two schools of thought, right? The four queen builds staying a little bit more defensive, generally not as aggressive as we've seen Vortex be. And then you've also got the uh, the school of thought that gets three queens early on, gets gas quickly, and gets speed, and then uh, generally attacks like we see as Next Life do and try to overrun with speedlings. But you know, any way you slice it, if you get that command center in the low ground, I, I feel like you're kind of asking for trouble. I'm, I'm surprised more Terrans aren't punished for doing that. Yeah, I mean, that's something we were talking about. I remember that's, all the way back when we huh. had... Yeah, it looks like he's going to fake Cloak there as he's researching Caduceus yeah, Reactor. Yep. But, um, yeah, so we'll see if the Overlord overreacts. So we already see the Evolution Chamber being put down and Layer Tech, of course, so he may over make a little bit of detection. Yep. But... Um, yeah, I mean, this is something we saw when someone like Thorzane was actually, uh, you know, kind of the the starter of doing that, going for those earlier command centers against uh, against Zerg players, and then deciding to go and put them on the low ground. And it was weird because for a time it was almost like Clockwork. We were like, that's really risky, and then yeah. inevitably it would just die, um, or they'd have to cancel it, or the amount of time that they would lose because the SCV that was building it was destroyed would actually be negated, um, you know, by the amount of... You, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like yeah. Th if they had just built it well, on the high ground, it would have been faster anyway. Exactly. Well, I mean, what you see happening is um, Zerg players responding exactly like uh, Check 6 Vortex... Or, not Check 6 Vortex. Caronte Vortex uh, responded where... Um, the current, you know, a lot of Zerg players in normal metagame is I'm going to make two Zerglings just to scout, just to kind of keep an eye on things, and then I'm going to uh, continue to make drones. Well, Vortex, as we see this Banshee pounding away at this hatchery, we'll have to see if it's handled okay or not. Um, but Vortex basically goes, all right, instead of making two, I'm going to make six Zerglings because I know I can punish you because if you're going for a reactor and Hellions, you're only going to have two Marines out. My six Zerglings are going to be able to beat your two Marines and a lot of SCGs right. as well. And that's exactly what we saw happen. Well, looks like Varys going to continue uh, putting on a little pressure with these Banshees. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get the Hatchery kill right away. The Hatchery is pretty close to finishing, and there's already Spore Crawlers all over the place inside of the uh, Natural and Main, so Varys going to find it a little bit difficult to get any work done. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing for Varys is that Vortex did spend the money on those Spore Crawlers because he thought it was cloaked. I think if he knew it wasn't, he probably would have just relied on Queens. Right. Um, but as it stands, and oh, there we go, targeting down the uh, weakened one. Nice job there by Vortex. Yeah. Um, as it stands, once the Spire finishes anyway, he's going to be able to handle those other Banshees, no problem. That's right. It's not often you see at this stage of the game where uh, a certain player is up by 30 supply, and they haven't even begun constructing their Mutalists. They're banking uh, yeah. resources the entire time, of which there's going to be enough for 10 Mutas here in a second. Looks like the Larvae is allocated to that, it's and he does have crazy. quite a bit of supply. Yeah, and uh, once the Muta harass, yeah, as soon as he starts the Mutas, we can see another round of drones, too, because he needs to get up to that 70 drone count for the uh, three bases. Roach is coming in now to the main, and uh, Natural, rather, nothing repairing that bunker, and this is going to be yet more trouble for Check 6 Vair. In fact, I don't think he has enough units to stop this right now. Yeah, oh, man, right. losing that one. Man, Tank. Ugh, even before the, the uh, Mutas are able to show up. So once yeah. again, Vortex wins uh, for Caronte Esports Club. That's his third game in a row. And Check 6 is a little bit on the back foot.